In today's video tutorial, I'm going to go over all of the pro video equipment that I've shown you over the last few weeks and put it all together on our fluid head tripod. The tripod that I use on location is a fluid head tripod and I use it because it gives me a more cinematic look and it's so much easier to use. It's a carbon fiber tripod which means it's really durable and light. They can be a little expensive but I promise you that it will be worth it in the future. So I'm going to show you that tripod, a few of its settings, and all of that equipment put together. So here it is with all of my equipment mounted on it. So as I have shown you in previous videos, here's the Rebel T5i DSLR camera. Here is the Rode mic. And here is the LED light. So this right here is just an extended hot shoe mount that allows you to put one mount on top of the camera that will also have two other mounts for other equipment. So as you can see the camera has a plate below it and that's the plate that you're going to use to mount it onto the tripod and it's going to make that click for this specific tripod. And this knob right here is to tighten it so that if you tip the tripod forward or backward, the DSLR camera doesn't slide off. So always make sure that your tripod is tightened. Now this little handle right here, is gonna help with your panning of up and down. So all the way forward means that it's tightened, all the way back means that it's loose, which means that if you're not careful and it's not tightened, and your camera also isn't mounted properly, it's just gonna tilt forward or tilt backward. So you wanna make sure to get it in the position you want and then tighten it to leave it there. Same goes for this front knob right here. All the way out means tightened, so I can't turn or pan the camera left and right. Untightening and moving it all the way in gives me this smooth move right here. Now how tight and how smooth your pan is also depends on this resistance section right here. So see how that just moved on its own? Because I brought it all the way to zero, meaning there is no resistance at all. So let's bring it all the way back to three, which is usually what I leave it at. It'll lock in place, and then that gives you more fluid motion. So it really just depends on the type of video that you're shooting and the effect that you want on what resistance setting you're gonna have your tripod at. And the same goes for this resistance section right here. As you can see, there's the three. You can move it down to the two, to the one, or the zero, and that determines your pan going up and down. The other resistance was for side to side. This resistance is for up and down. Now I know this is a little hard to see, but this setting right here is very important because this will show you if your tripod is level. Meaning it's kind of like a construction level that you would use to hang up a frame or level something on your home. It has that bubble and that bubble should be right in the middle of that circle and no matter on what type of foundation your tripod is or how crooked the floor is or how uneven your platform is, your tripod will be stabilized and level if your bubble is right in the middle of that circle. So to make that adjustment, we have this handle right here that tightens the level and loosens it. So to the left, loosens it and look at how loose now the tripod head is and to the right tightens it. So you would loosen it to level out your tripod head and get that bubble in that circle. Once it's in there, you turn it to the right. Now your tripod head is tightened and can't be moved. So now I wanna show you how I would take down my tripod. So these knobs right here are made to adjust your tripod legs. If it's loose, you can scoot it up, you can scoot it down. So to close it up, you wanna Loosen it and then tighten it at the top. Same with the bottom leg. 
You could loosen it to make the tripod longer and taller or tighten it to bring that leg back up. And you would do the same with the two other legs. So this is now your closed up, ready to pack in your shoulder bag tripod. Very compact, very lightweight, and super easy to use. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Leave a comment below for any requests on future tutorials and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see new tutorials that come out every week.